okay, it's finally time for me to install Windows 11 on my Mac Pro 2019, except it's not TPM 2.0 compatible, meaning it doesn't have the security chipset that Microsoft now requires. But that's not a big deal. I found the easiest way to bypass this and it'll work for any modern Intel Mac. So let's get to it. The first thing you need is a USB thumb drive. This is just a USB-C one I have laying around and it's way overkill as it's 256 gigabytes. These instructions are based on a post by Dural on Reddit, so credit to them and this will be linked in the description. As you can tell, I'm already booted into Windows 10. So the first step is to go to Microsoft.com and download Windows 11. The next step is to copy the ISO onto your USB drive. All right, I've done that and I need to disconnect from the internet. For me personally, that means disconnecting from my ethernet and also disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. Then double click the ISO that you just copied onto your USB drive to mount it. The next step is to make note of the drive letter that your ISO mounted as. For me, it mounted as the letter I. Yours will probably be different than mine. Next, we're gonna bring up Run from the Start menu. Mine is showing up in Recently Used as I've recently used it, but you'll probably have to search for it in your computer. Or you can press and hold the Windows hotkey and press R. What we're going to be doing is plugging in a command that changes the installation mode. The Reddit post doesn't explain what this command does, so let me explain it here. SetupPrep.exe is a Windows setup helper. It's used to start an in-place upgrade from within an existing Windows session. In simpler terms, it's used to upgrade previous versions of Windows. When you run it against a Windows 11 ISO, it does not install Windows Server. It still installs Windows 11, but this mode is commonly used because it bypasses and relaxes some of Windows 11's hardware checks like TPM, Secure Boot, and CPU checks. These are the things that prevent you from installing it on unsupported hardware. Run the command with your drive letter, colon, backslash, sources, backslash, setupprep.exe, space, forward slash, product, space, server. This command is, of course, in the description, it's also on the Reddit page, and it should also be pinned as a comment. That way, you can copy and paste it, but you'll need to replace X with your drive letter. This will launch the installer, and it will take a bit. Then click install and let it do its thing. It'll take a few reboots, but that's basically it. That's all you need to do to install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. And this doesn't just apply to Macs, but I'm a Mac guy, so that's what I went with. Of course, if you have any important data, back it up before you start this process. Here's my Mac Pro 2019 booting Windows 11, and you can see that's working because here's all the adware. This video came in under three minutes. I think I did pretty well, thanks to my Patreons.